everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I think I have found you guys. I think I have pretty much created the best custom that I've ever created in my entire life. I think I've finally done it. I think I have surpassed all of these. Now, I know I don't have all the rest of my fantasy ballers that I've made. You know, I sold most of those on eBay. One of those remains, I think it's this one, is the last one of the fantasy attires. Besides the one I just made, which you guys are going to see here on display in just a second, I think I have created my favorite or my best. Custom. I don't know about favor, but I think my best like overall work, I think I have done it. I'm going to showcase that today, and you guys can tell me down below if you think it's better than the rest of these. I tried to pick my favorites or my best customs I think I've personally done. Now, I tried to limit it to any figures that only I did. Like, even if it has a little bit of decals, that's okay. You know, some of these Finn Balors have some decals. This Seth Rollins has some decals with the Buzz Lightyear, you know, imagery and the Space Ranger logos and things of that nature, but I tried to get only the customs that I only did. Like, I don't have anybody's work on here. Nobody with a custom head sculpt that they did. Everything that you see in this video was all hand painted by me or a couple decals applied here and there and we're going to showcase the custom and then I want you guys to be honest with me. Tell me down in the comment section below if you think the new custom is the best custom I've ever done or do you think, you know, I, I would think that probably people think that either one of the Finn Balors, probably the Punisher Hardy, the, the Buzz Lightyear Seth Rollins or the Punisher Rollins is what I'm guessing a lot of people are going to like. You may like some others, you know, some people just like things out of the box. I think the sold out AJ Styles back here is also a contender. A lot of people like that custom back there, but I think I finally cracked the code, guys. So let's get into the best custom possibly. You know, it's possible. You know, I'm just saying it's possible. I'm not saying that it is. I'm saying that it could be, but let's go ahead and reveal it, guys. Three, two, one. Here it is in all of its glory. We have this fantasy attire. Now, I guess it's it's Carnage inspired. Like, I guess I was going for a Carnage inspired attire. I, I kind of started off that way and then I just started painting on it and then it just kind of evolved from there. So let's go ahead and get in here because I want to get all the details in here with you guys. I want to get the good lighting in here. Make sure we don't overexpose the BS. But zooming in here, guys, you guys will see on the head sculpt, I did use his first NXT basic head sculpt. And I put that onto the Elite 74 body. As you guys can tell, we're going to work our way all the way through here. So start off with the head sculpt. It is his first NXT basic head sculpt, which I think is his best head sculpt, especially when you're going to put demon paint on it or put any paint on that face sculpt. It's a really beautiful head sculpt. I think it captures likeness. It's kind of a more straight face, more serious Finn Balor, so that works perfectly for the demon. So if we get in here, you guys will see that we have like the red across the top of the forehead. We got like these little tentacles or strinicles or strish going through the top of the forehead into the nose area. It fades into a black color after we get to the eyes. So I didn't want to do the eyes on top of the eyes. I kind of wanted to relate it similar to the Venom Finn Balor. If you guys have ever seen that, let me grab mine real quick. So looking at the Venom Finn Balor, you guys can see here, this is kind of where I was inspired by. This is a Venom Prince Devitt custom made by Showstopper Custom Decals. I tried to use the same logic here, but the eye shape is different because Carnage is a different character. He's not Venom there, so I tried to do what the Carnage looks like. So that was my inspiration behind doing the eyes down there. And then another inspiration that looks similar to this is the Wrestle Kingdom attire, which you guys can kind of see the similarities between the two, but they are different. They're definitely different here. But let's go ahead and get into the rest of the custom. We can do a full body, you know, comparison here in a minute. But I went down into the mouth there with the teeth. You got this gray stuff coming up the sides here. I wanted that to be kind of different. I didn't want it to be solid black. I didn't want to use white. I felt like it would contrast too much, so I felt like gray would probably be the best. I then lined the jaw with the teeth design going all the right around and as the black fades down into the neck you guys will see that it kind of fades in and it's got the red going on you got a lot of dry brushing a lot of different layers of red color you got all kinds of stuff going down through here so you got the black fading into the red you got all of these different reds and shades of red over the body and again this is kind of where you get the you know the wrestle kingdom attire very very similar except mine's more like faded and stuff this is more like hard lines and things of that nature so i try to go with like the fade style going in there so you have the teeth going through there i got i kind of gave the teeth like a more sharp edge shape. So it's not just one tooth. You have like other teeth coming off or little flails or flames kind of going off the sides of the teeth with the tongue in the pink with the red down the center. Black and red covering the abs here. Down into the sleeves. I used Elite 70 Finn Balor sleeves because I think that just looks the best and you know I don't have to worry about paint chip or anything so I got a solid black sleeve here and then the black and red here from the Elite 70. Same tape fingers from that Elite 70. You have the same red stuff and black going on the shoulders. Down into the trunks. I just 
just painted the gold stripes on the side in white and then I painted over the red in this like silver red so it's like a shiny red similar to his attire in NXT so I thought that would be a really nice touch nothing on the legs elite 70 kick pads knee pads and lower legs because it just kind of looks carnage inspired I thought about adding some you know that that silver you know the the bright shiny metallic type color to the kick pads but then I was like nah Brad we're just gonna leave it like it is but not only do we have this on the front guys but I did do a back design and three two one let's get into the back design you have right here which is like a, a faded red sunset type background and then you have like an outline of the demon Finn Balor stretching out his hand here so if you guys can see that it's kind of like a silhouette slash art background not supposed to be like super detailed it's just sort of supposed to be like you know shadows or like a nice outline there and I thought that would work out great for the back I kind of like the way it's off the side here I might add like some black fading in here or over here but I still like the way it turned out I think it looks fantastic here and uh, I, I think it could have been cleaner but I think for a just a free handed paint job here I'll, I'll bring up the logo that it's supposed to be so you guys can kind of see what the inspiration was behind it but that was the inspiration there and I think it looks all right you know I, I think I'm going to touch it up just a little bit here but you do have all the red fading in to the back of the head there with the black I put a black base color or like a black wash over the hair because usually when he rocked the demon attire that's pretty much what he did on the night I think he added some you know black paint to his hair made it appear darker there but overall guys I think yes this is the best custom I've ever made or it's very very close if not and again if you wanted to do a full body I wanted to get a full body comparison here between the Finn Balor from uh, or the Prince David I should say from Wrestle Kingdom and then you have the Finn Balor fantasy attire there with the demon and you guys can see the obvious obvious inspiration there but they are different trunks are different this is, has like purple and black going in no leg design this one does but again they are very similar in nature but I, I like this man I think it, I'm pretty proud of the way it came out you guys can let me know down below and here's a here's a full body shot of the Prince Devitt Venom and then a full body shot of the fantasy attire Finn Balor and then if you guys wanted to compare to some other customs and see for yourselves which one you like more now to be fair this head sculpt was made by BEW so I didn't make the Seth Rollins pissed off head sculpt but you know you could put the regular you know uh, the, the head sculpt from back here the Elite 75 head sculpt you could put this head sculpt over here if you wanted to if you wanted to deduct some points because this head sculpt is better than that it's like a pissed off Seth Rollins but overall which one do you think I know they're, they're definitely different there's way more paint detail and stuff that went into this there are decals on here but the creativity and the behind the scenes stuff for the Buzz Lightyear one is just super fire if you wanted to compare it to another you know fantasy attire demon I just think this one's better it's just better I like the colors over here but the just the intricate detail and the the overall cleanliness of the attire I think this one does take the cake you guys can let me know down below and plus this one has like a weird back design that I just kind of scratched out with a toothpick and then this one has like the free-handed paint and I don't know I, I just like I definitely like the new one more it's just better if you guys wanted to compare another demon Finn Balor we do have the WrestleMania 35 now this one is super nice I will say this one is definitely nice and they both have back designs on them that I did hand paint but I think other people made this attire better than me I think RKO 1974 there was a couple people on Instagram that did make it better than I did but there is the comparison there between the two as you guys can see with the Wrestlemania 35 Finn Balor getting a little zoom in shot there they are two completely different styles though this one has sleeves this one doesn't but the back designs are similar they're demon paints so I mean what what do you want me to freaking say if you wanted to compare it to some others you got the Punisher Jeff Hardy here in the middle a lot of people say this is their favorite custom that I've done due to the Jeff Hardy face paint he's got the white wash in the hair he's got the full black attire that he wore at the MDT Royal Rumble you also have the Punisher Seth Rollins over here which is also super dope that'd be a sick ass tag team by the way don't see us ever doing that in the pick fed but you never know you know yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you got the pink AJ Styles over here that you could compare it to I just don't know if any other custom has the level of detail that this new Finn Balor has when putting it up against and then this is the figure that I switched the knee pads and the arms with so this one's kind of looking funky now with like no white paint on his arms or anything no white sleeves he just kind of looks odd because he doesn't have anything now but these arms used to be over here but the black sleeves definitely make the attire pop up but I am super satisfied with this new like carnage Finn Balor and I think it overall is my best custom I, I really can't I, I can't I can't top it I really don't think I can top it if I had to put it up there I would say Rollins maybe Punisher Jeff uh, oh I almost forgot about the Cedric the Spider-Man Cedric as I knocked the camera to the side there you got Spider-Man Cedric that was also very very fire so you guys can let me know down in the comment section below which one is better maybe you like the sold out AJ Styles over here maybe it's better in your personal opinion I think it's kind of hard to compare like a simple repaint you know just regular attire to a full body demon paint job I think you have to compare this to another full body paint job such as another demon Finn Balor or something of that nature we have another throwback Seth Rollins here from his WWE championship run that you can compare it to this one's a really beautiful 
beautiful custom as well. But this one, again, it just doesn't do the justice. Even with the different switches and stuff, the, the vest is beautiful. The sides are painted and everything up, but I don't know if you can beat this full body and, you know, back design with the, the trunks and everything. I wanted to put Balor on the front too, like his NXT gear, but it kind of reminded me of his NXT gear anyways. You know, the one with the triangle on the back and the scales. That's kind of what I was going for a little bit, but I wanted to add some Carnage stuff, but I don't know. At the end of the day, it's really not that. It's Carnage inspired, but it's not fully just a fantasy attire for Carnage because if it was, it would have more references to him. Besides the little eyes and maybe uh, a little bit of the paint job on the chest and stuff, I still I still like it. I think it could still work as a regular Finn Balor, especially since it does have the demon silhouette on the back and everything, and the trunks kind of look like the NXT demon Finn Balor, but you guys can let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think, which one is better. Do you think the Toys R Us, Buzz Light, the Toys R Us? Do you think the Toy Story, Seth Rollins from Buzz Lightyear, the Punisher, Jeff Hardy, or this Finn Balor is the better custom? Guys, let me know down in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it if you guys could let me know. I'd be interested to see what you guys think. But anyways, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Also, I forgot to mention the, the all-white Aleister Black, another fire one right there. But anyways, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Again, let me know what you think of the Finn Balor. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.